excited to invite you to this year's Upper Room Retreat where you would have an amazing time meeting a community of people that are like-minded seeking Jesus in these times that we're in. Now, this is a retreat that goes for three days and you're going to have an immersive experience with the Holy Spirit, just like we see in Acts chapter 2. Um, in Mark 6, 31, Jesus calls his disciples and brings them privately and says, come with me, let's go get some rest. Do you know that right now, as it is, we're also busy, we're taking care of everybody else. And we don't go to church, we go to conferences, but there's nothing like coming away to a deserted place. This is an opportunity for you to leave everything in the busy city and come out. Just meet with the Lord yourself. It's always an amazing experience. And honestly, it's a place where I get to be recalibrated, refreshed, and ready to go for the next year. So come out with me and let's have a blast together. Now, this is the most serene, quiet, beautiful place you could ask for. The facilities are great. And our highlight really is when you come out in the morning and you just have a one-on-one -on -one with the Lord in our sunrise worship sessions. You can hear the birds, you can hear the bugs. It's beautiful. And we have time for the children this year. We're bringing them out here, having a camp. They'll have a fun time and you're bonding with family and friends. I invite you to this year's Opera Room Retreat. Our theme this year is immovable. In a life, in a time when everybody is talking about artificial intelligence, what's the effect on the, is it, the rapture is coming, just coming and so can get more clarity about your destiny, your life, your purpose, and your family as we move forward. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the facility just to help you see what God has prepared for you. Don't miss this. Make sure you go over every single thing standing in your way to be here. Not to talk about the amazing, amazing speakers we have. If you haven't been baptized before by immersion in water, we also do that. All right. There's a link here. Please make sure you 